Meantime, the official report is out this morning on another scandal in Washington. The IRS is targeting of conservative political groups. NBC senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers has the latest developments. Lisa, good morning. Good morning, Savannah. This new report officially confirms what conservatives have been saying for a while, that the IRS was targeting them. The report says the IRS unit responsible was a mess and that some employees were actually ignorant about tax laws. Tea Party and conservative groups applying for tax-exempt status began being targeted by the IRS in 2010, the report says, based upon their names or policy positions. The inspector general's report says the inappropriate criteria was used for 18 months in targeting groups for review and resulted in substantial delays on applications and unnecessary information requests. The report quotes IRS supervisors as saying no one outside the IRS asked that conservative groups get extra scrutiny. The president called the findings intolerable and inexcusable and directed that those involved be held accountable. What's most disturbing is that the inspector general could not rule out that there was a broader problem, including perhaps personal audits or other groups being targeted. The IRS insists that while the criteria was inappropriate, both liberal and conservative groups were treated equally in determining the ultimate outcome. And it insists there was no intent to hide the issue, even though Congress was not told for a year. This is unacceptable and it's immoral. It's the kind of behavior we associate not with the greatest democracy in the world, but with corrupt tin pot dictators. Attorney General Eric Holder says he's ordered an FBI investigation. Those were, I think as everyone can agree, uh, if not criminal, they were certainly outrageous and unacceptable, but we are examining uh, the facts to see if there were criminal violations. And the IRS's problems got worse this morning with this headline, revealing that while conservatives were buried in paperwork, liberal groups got approved easily. For the record, the president's spokesman categorically denies the White House had anything to do with any of this. Savannah. Lisa Myers in Washington, thank you.